I'm Jessica Dean with your evening digital news brief for Friday, May 19th. A person of interest is in custody in Delaware for a hit and run crash involving a one year old girl. That girl was hit this morning outside her home in Newport, Newcastle County. Neighbors tell eyewitness news the driver hit the girl, then rolled over her again as he sped away. Family members say she suffered a fractured skull and facial injuries, but is recovering. A New York City judge has denied bail for the man accused of plowing his car into a group of people in Times Square. Richard Rojas made his first court appearance to face charges, including second degree murder. Security camera captured Rojas driving at a high rate of speed as he mowed down pedestrians Thursday. One person was killed, 22 others were hurt. Philadelphia's opioid task force issued its first set of recommendations to battle the ongoing drug crisis. One of the suggestions is to possibly create safe injection sites where users could inject heroin under medical supervision to protect against overdoses. Other recommendations include expanding access to treatment and spreading naloxone to prevent overdoses. Smokers may not be able to line up on the boardwalk in the Wildwoods for much longer. Wildwood and North Wildwood are both considering a plan to ban smoking on the boardwalk. If that smoking ban is passed, it would not go into effect until next year. Ocean City already outlawed smoking on its boardwalk several years ago. Tonight on Eyewitness News at 11, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of Madam Secretary as the cast and crew shoot on location in Washington, D.C. for the first time since the pilot episode. You'll hear from stars like Tim Daly about what it's like on set and what to expect from Sunday's season finale. We'll go behind the scenes of Madam Secretary tonight at 11. And remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. For the Evening Digital Brief, I'm Jessica Dean.